an offshore account, the 100 million, was it paid into an offshore account? So, so Honorable Chair, I think, I think the word offshore, when we use, I mean, for those who are bankers, I mean, you can even have an offshore account in Ghana. So, I think the word, when we say offshore, sometimes I get a bit confused because the Bank of Ghana has certain categorizations of, uh, what do you call it, foreign currency. And so, what we call FCA, of offshore account. But to the extent that uh, the, the question relates to a uh, receipt from, uh, from sale of crude, yeah, it was paid into an account held at Ghana International Bank in London. Okay, and who made the payment? So the buyer, the buyer of the crude. So buyers of the crude, even in the case of PHF, the buyers of the crude pay, pay directly into the PHF. So they pay directly into whichever account that you did today for them to pay. And these are all ongoing at the current sitting of the ad hoc committee looking into the censure of the finance minister, Ken Ophiriata. Both sides of the house. Uh, that's majority and minority all want the finance minister to go. Is the modus operandi that they differ on? Uh, well, Mr. Jantua, you're in the space. Uh, which of the space? He's, 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 When you were watching this yesterday, what was going Roland, through your mind? Roland, two things. Yes. Two things. Uh, First, the finance minister should come and his evidence should be beyond all reasonable doubt. Otherwise, watertight. Otherwise, nothing wait, can wait, convince. Wait, wait, wait. Where nobody can punch holes into his evidence. Watertight. Because one, I'm saying, he he be key coming. Two things for me. His evidence should be beyond reasonable doubt. No doubt whatsoever. Number two. If he comes, he should use that platform to tell Ghanaians he's resigning. These are the two things I expect from him. You want him beyond reasonable doubt if, to if, come and prove if, if he, that he hasn't flouted? Yes, beyond reasonable There should be no doubt. What's your doubt. position on the, what you heard? In terms of? The narration from the GMPC. Look, let me, tell you, let me tell you something. Before Piak comes out, and I was a vice chair of Piak, so I know. Before Piak comes out, eh, they have all stakeholders. The reports that Piak bring out, the two reports, the semi-annual and the annual, they have all stakeholders who handle the oil revenue bring the information to them, all of them. And once they get the information and they put it in the reports, before it even goes to parliament, there's a validation where they have with everybody, every stakeholder, to see whether what has been put in there is right or not. They would have to agree that what you put in there is right. Before it now goes to parliament, the uh, finance committee, who are responsible for PIAC, and they have to go and stand in front of the select committee with even parts of the um, uh, 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 energy committee sitting in to defend that report. And all the stakeholders before are there published. before it's published. So why would PIAC come and sit and tell a lie? They said the thing wasn't paid into the PHF account. That is what they are saying. And, and, con and confirmed by GMPC. And, and, and GMPC, they, they paid into an Austria account. Did they tell us which account? It says their, it's, their, it's their account. Uh, which, which account? account? Piak is saying you didn't pay it in the PHF yes, account. Yes, they you did. You are it. saying you paid it into the PHF account. So who is speaking the truth? Yeah. They are saying they paid into an offshore account. Yes, of which offshore account of which subsidiary? Uh, or GMPC subsidiary. The 7% that the Occidental payment. Where did that one go? Where did that one? That's the questions we are asking. That's why I'm saying if the finance minister is coming to defend himself, his evidence should be watertight. There should be no hole, no minute piece of hole in the rubber to leak water. It has to be watertight for everybody to say, yes, we trust what the finance minister Acor is saying. According because it has international implications. It has huge international implications. And don't forget, investors are watching. This is your finance minister. And if the president does not want to do away with the finance minister and there are doubts to his, his, his uh, evidence and he's still there to go and negotiate on Ghana's behalf of IMF, it won't be a good thing for us because investors, IMF, need to have confidence in your finance minister sitting there negotiating for your country. 
So for me, two things. Either he decides, look, after all what everybody has said, and you see, this is what I don't understand about the president. Barra is left, right, center. Everybody telling you, let the man go. You say you won't let him go. What is it about Kenoforiata that the president is finding it difficult to let him go? What is it? With everything that has come in from your own party, from other parties, from the country, what is it about it? I understand. P -p -p probably, I'm, I'm probably, to it. yeah, but it is in relation to it. Well, Isn't you, it because of the Kenoforiata we are doing this? You, you, you mean he did something untoward? Based, well, on, based on what? I don't is know. Whether he's done something untoward, but from, from the look of things, there is something in there that is stopping the president from doing away with Kenforiata. Now, I, I wouldn't doubt Piak. This is your pro proverbial talk. What proverbial talk? What is proverbial about it, Roland? Do you understand why the president doesn't want to, to do away with Kenforiata? Ah, can you give me a, a reason why? Give me a reason why. Give me a reason well, why. The reason is that he that, should finish budget and IMF. When, when there are things that people feel you did not do right, and people feel, okay, you even let's take, let's take... But Mr. Jantua, shouldn't be about feelings. Huh? It has listen, to be about listen. what is right. Okay, what was okay. Right. let me give you what is right. Let me give you what is right or what is wrong. The debt stock, where is it today? Where does the debt stock stand today? It's over 400 billion, isn't it? Isn't it? But we're a country. We're I said, isn't it? Yes. Who borrowed it on our behalf? The finance minister led the team. Par Parliament approved it. Was that the only way? Uh, so, so that is why sometimes I say they are all complicit. They are all complicit. Because when, it, when he brought it, huh? but is the finance minister and the executive who decided to go this way and it came to Parliament, didn't it? Unfortunately, Parliament didn't see the future of those loans. They, they, they weren't able to see the future of those loans that it will bring us to where we are today. But who started is the executive who brought it to parliament. The executive who brought it to parliament. And has it helped us? For instance, this benchmark uh, uh, discount value thing that they brought in, did it help local farmers? Did it help local farmers? And what was the reason for that? Oh, they are complaining that the, the duties in the ports uh, were too high and they needed to do something about it. There are certain things that, uh, 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 Roland, as government, if you do not look at and have a third eye looking into the future, comes to bite you, and that is where we are. How are we going and where are we going to find 400 billion to pay our debts? The president is going to COP, what do you call it, 27, and saying to them that use carbon credits to offset our debts. Isn't that embarrassing? Oh. Why isn't it embarrassing? So you took debts and you couldn't handle it. Remembering that we've gone to Hippico. And Hippic was a situation where we'd have thought things would start straightening up. We'd gone to IMF. It was extended another year. And we are back to where we are. How do we think our international investors would think about us? Really? I'm saying, eh, all this is not necessary. If Ken Ofuriata can come, have a watertight uh, evidence, or tell Ghanaians, use this as a platform, tell Ghanaians, with all that is going on, I don't think it's fair on the country. I am resigning today. If he can do that, we will applaud him. He will keep some of his integrity in place. Um, at the end of the day, uh, concerns about flouting of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act, but all related to either poor supervision or perhaps also the Minister of Finance being questioned about you know, having a certain role of a span of control, which really flout regulations, lay down acts. Um, thank you, Roland. I, I agree with uh, Mr. Gentua that... Uh, Can she um, resign? No. No, that's not what I agreed. I agree that there would be a watertight uh, 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 response to what has been leveled against him uh, at the committee sitting. And I believe that the finance minister 
will do that. I disagree with him resigning on that score on the grounds that he is before the committee. Even if he has presented a watertight argument to support his claim or to dissolve what has been said, until the committee finishes, he can't absolutely resign from the process and leaving the committee to hang because he has to go through the process. And, and if the finance minister will have to go, he has to go on a ground of merit. And I believe that we should leave him to face the committee. Finishes with the committee. If he so wishes that he wants to go, then he does that. But I, I support the point that a watertight Mahama, argument... the country doesn't have any interest in whether he stays or he goes? I am not saying so. I'm not saying so that whether he should go or he should not. But I am only saying that after presenting a watertight argument to the committee with respect to what has been said yesterday at the committee level, resigning afterwards from there would not be good in the sense that the committee sitting is for seven days as instructed or directed by the Speaker of Parliament. So if the committee finishes and he has been able to uh, 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 prove himself and he decides to go, I believe that uh, that is his own decision. And even the vote of censure, it is a may. It is not something that if it is done, the president will have to still go ahead and fire him. So uh, Mohammed, it is good. Mohammed, if I, may, if I may just interject, don't you think if your own party members in parliament feel that they can't work with you, they are prepared to boycott the executives, uh, uh, things they bring to power, especially the budget, it's not a reason to, to, to resign. Yes, you, you have a point. I have not disagreed with that. You have a point. But the point is that uh, these are members of our party. These are people's representatives. This is the opinion that they have and expressed. And the entire caucus has and said, we don't want you. Oh, no, it wasn't the entire caucus. Uh, the caucus is about 100. Now it's the entire yes. caucus. So now, even if it is the entire caucus, I'm from the party. I was in parliament when the, uh, the motion was tabled. I was there with my boss, the general secretary. To, to equip the, um, the, the MPs in... We, we have had several meetings with them after they had come out to make that public pronouncement. As a party and government, we need to engage and bring everybody on board. But they are still Nobody, to it. Yes, this is, th that is the opinion that they have expressed. All right. And we will have that opportunity to talk with them. Right. Uh, in terms of paying back, uh, Senior, you know that no government has been able to pay back the debts of uh, the, 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 the country this is entirely. This is uh, nobody has been able. This Even under HIPIC, we're not forgiven of all the debts that we have. And the president calling for uh, this carbon, uh, this thing to settle some of our debt. I believe that these were some of the uh, uh, issues that even emanated in the HIPIC forgiveness of debts. So if this are our entitlement, and we are saying that, okay, if this is entitled to us, and then you are not giving it to us, we are calling on the, 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 the World Bank, to use it to be able to offset some of the debts. I think that maybe it is right that okay. the president had made that well, particular see, call. I want to answer his question, that why is the president not sacking him? Why? It's because he's the custodian of the family loot. Oh. What, what, do, you, what, what do you mean by family loot? Family loot is where you use your own company to, when you borrow money, then the monies come to you. Well, he resigned from the company, we're told. He is the beneficial owner of that company. He's the shareholder of that company. So your answer is that the boy is a custodian of the family loot. Next point, we are hearing him from the party saying that the finance minister will resign at his wish, if he so wishes. You hear him, if he so wishes. So regardless of the plethora of complaints and the even from their own members, or the old members, there are he thinks that no, it should be Keno Foreta when he decides after the economy has been brought to its knees. They don't care. They don't care. Even when 90 of their MPs say the man should go. Uh, one of their council of elders yesterday, Kwame Pieni. Was it Kojo Pieni? Kwame Pieni. Kwame Pieni. No. Uh, Kojo. Kojo. The yes. former chief of staff. Yes. Okay. Kojo Call for the removal. And we are, so it is not about the wish of the finance minister. And you are saying it shouldn't be so. But you are not collecting salary. So if you are not collecting salary, we say go to, what's your problem? You are, you, in fact, you are working for us free. And we say, we thank you. Go. 
What is not a problem that you don't want to go? Chinchina, you don't want to go. Why? Look at what uh, the uh, managing director of the of the, the GMPC. GMPC man was talking about. What's the offshore account? It's simple an account. Don't miss out outside. That or designated so. It's in a country that you don't reside in. An account in a country that you don't reside in. They ask you whether has the money been paid into a sort of offshore account? Oh no, uh, it has not been paid. Uh, Ghana Commercial Bank, uh, that's an offshore account. A GMPC boss doesn't know that's an offshore account and was whining all day over the place. These are the people managing our resources. Why? The Petroleum Management or Revenue Management Act has provided for, for a Petroleum Revenue Management Fund. And the law is specific. Pay, pay it into the fund, and the fund is domiciled here in Ghana. Then the decision will be made. This is to post. The fund is in this Ghana. Whatever criminality that existed for them to pay it in that offshore account is all there, and God knows. And that's why. That's speculation. <sighs> let me tell you, just before you finish, let me tell you. No, 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 you. he hasn't finished. The, the, the money is besting. See, <laughs> if. You have been told to put the family resources here. Yeah. And you decide to put the family resources there. That's flouting directives. There must be some criminal mind behind what you are doing. So the burden is now on you, and that's why I agree with him. You should come clean today. You should come very clean today. Oh, he resigns. What well, for the resignation? Look. Um the president is the one who is supposed to fire him. He's also dragging his feet. The man too says he won't go. For me, I would say that. Let's leave it. Country broke, you know broke, we're all day inside. If this country goes to the doldrums, we are all inside. Now that our economy has been downgraded and we buy petrol at such an exorbitant price, is it only the NDC people who suffer, they are also suffering. So if they are telling you, take that man away so there will be confidence in the market will enhance, or there will be confidence in, uh, in the, our, our, our economy. You don't say you won't do it. And the stubbornness of Akufado is becoming unbecoming. You see, me, me, I was told, that as you grow, you sober. You see? As you grow, eh? you too, you sober. But it's like Akufado's own is different. I don't know what kind of blood is in him. As he grows, he becomes more hyper and does not listen to what people talk about. How can you prefer your cousin to the entire nation? And everybody's crying. Akufado, Akufado, Akufado. The people are crying. Mention your name in their sleep. You won't listen. What, do you mean what is special about this, your cousin? But there are so many cousins. Take him off and bring another If it's about the cousin, cousin, take him off and bring another cousin. They didn't say you shouldn't bring another cousin. Mr. Maliba, you did uh, hear the output of that interaction they had with the majority. And it is that the president would prefer mm -hmm. that the finance minister, because he had begun negotiations with the IMF, mm -hmm on how we can get a bailout. Um, we'll finish those discussions. And then also we'll lead the president's uh, team or the executive to present g government's financial statement for the next year, 2023. And the appropriation. The last thing, the last thing I wish for my enemies is death. But Ken could fall down today. Who will lead those discussions? Somebody else. No, but Most, when he was I, sick, I'm not who, saying who that read the budget? Me, me, me. Okay, so you are, you are, not you are saying, saying that he died. No, no, no. To me, him. I dislike him He's not a because, because of his management of the economy, but I will not wish him death. But I'm saying that he can fall down today, just as how I can also go out and fall down. Mm. Who would drive my car home? Wouldn't somebody drive it home? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would drive it. Um, uh, uh, Roland, <laughs> yesterday, when, when, when Piak when uh, <laughs> met the committee, yes. there were other things that they wanted to bring up. Yes. But didn't have the time. So there were three things. The first one was the acquisition of 7% interest in Jubilee and 10 fields. Yes. The second thing was the unspent ABFE 
from 2017 to 2019. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. The third is capping of the Ghana Stabilization Fund. All this is a challenge because they can't find where these things have gone. And so they didn't have the time. So the issues of account accountability. Is, 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 Which is, is being supervised exactly by the finance, finance ministry. Finance ministry. And the 7% the that was realized from uh, the sale of Occidental came to about 100 point something. That was supposed to be given to Exploco, but was transferred to the new company. The new company. Who are the directors of that new company? And I say... Well, their accounts are domiciled offshore, but they are still subsidiary who, of the GMS. Who are the, the directors? The belongs to, be, belongs to the, the government of Who Ghana, are the, the directors? Well, who? It's not hard to find. It's not hard to find. You are in the space. Yes, right? who are the directors? Sure. Who are the directors? And I believe that the committee should call the chairman of the GMPC who is board. The isn't it uh, our own Freddie Blake? Ah. Isn't he chairman of the board? Oh, okay. eh? To call him and also question him on this. If we want to get to the root, you can't only really question Piak and leave it there. Well, bring well, the others in place. Well, the P uh, GMPC person, bring the chair, because it has to go to the board, doesn't it? And the board has to also give the go ahead. Question him so that we get the right situation. Because you see, we don't want a situation where we are faulting the finance minister for something that he could do nothing about and had to follow. You think so? Well, it could be. Because he I'm, has a responsibility I'm just to saying, make sure. I'm just saying it could be. So everybody in that trajectory who is part and parcel of this 7% sale of Occidental should be questioned. Mm. They've, if you've questioned Piak, and remember, as I said earlier, everybody brings their information for Piak to analyze and put in a report. So all the stakeholders know what was in that Occidental sale. Bring them and let them come and say their bit. But this thing about the deputy uh, GMPC and, and MD saying, oh, an offshore account can be. Yeah, there are offshore accounts in banks here. But the, question, the, the, the term offshore means offshore. Which offshore account did it go into? Did it go into, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Exploco's uh, offshore account? Or did it go into JOL's uh, export account? So I'm saying, today, I just pray that the finance minister would, would, would count all of us wrong in the evidence he gives. If there are question marks, then... That's preemptive. Yes, well, That's preemptive, preemptive. But let's see. Mm. I'm That's saying if, I'm not saying there would mm. be. So it can't be preemptive, if. At the party level, we saw your general secretary issue a statement. That's your boss, right? Yes, please. Okay. So the, st the statement is calling for a certain kind of truth, but then is also accepting within the rank and file of the party that there's some level of agitation, right? There is. It's an open agitation, okay. we all know. Okay. So you agree that the man has, has not been on top of his job? Well, I mean, among your membership? Not only MP, so, but... Um, for me, as a party, uh, I cannot have a position that will define the fate of... No, no, no. The, I'm talking your party. I'm not questioning you as... Yeah, as a party, we can't take that no, no, no. position. I'm, I'm, the question is, from the feedback you pick from your membership... So you are asking for my personal opinion? No, 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 no. no. As party reps. Yes. The feedback you pick as party reps. He understands your question, but he's... <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's very difficult it's for him to way communicate. Way. The communication... This is to communicate no, for... I, I want to get clarity. Oh, Mohammed, you know? Mohammed, you know? listen. Yeah. This is to communicate for government is difficult. I understand. <laughs> Um, as officers of the party. Rulan, the only yes. best communication is truth. That's all. <laughs> Speak the truth. Wait, this is what, that's no matter what, that's what Jesus and Muhammad. Oh, um, really? <clears throat> um, uh, as, that's why we uh, worship them. As officers of the party, what do you pick from the ground? Because your MPs say their constituents are raising. Your, and we know that their constituents may be made up of MPP, NDC, CPP, and, and all, everybody else. And even those who don't belong to any party or vote at all. What do you pick from your larger membership about what they feel about, about the finance minister, whether he's been on top of his job or not? Roland, um, the feeling of the party was expressed by the letter of the national chairman, where we have taken opinions of everybody, including the 85 or so 
uh, MPs who had come out to speak publicly at the press conference, and also the engagement of the party between the, the entire majority caucus, the presidency, and the national party. Those opinions were taken into consideration, and it resonated so much in the letter that was issued by the national chairman Which is what? of the party. Which, is what? which says that, let's all get Because your, member, your the members, team. they said, okay, they are giving him time. Now, the thing is that he shouldn't even present the next budget, which is yeah. 24, 26. Yes. All those ones have been taken into consideration. And as we said, there is a number of talks that is going on between party and government. And like he said, when the president, what when they met the president, about? the president made a categorical statement about the instances. And you have also said so here, what has to be done before what is done. But so, Mohammed, Mohammed, sorry, uh, sorry, what was the reaction of the country when that happened? Yes. When they went, to the, they went to the president and the president said that and they kind of agreed. What was the reaction in the country? Is it and a that lot? is what you should be looking yes. at. Yes, we are looking at all these but options. But you are not. But we are looking at all these the options. The country was so disappointed. You see, you see. And that is where the crux of the matter is. Because they vote you into power. And you should take what they are saying. I think but he, you don't he, seem to. Uh, yeah, you, he knows. He knows. You, you yeah, he knows, but then he should say the, it. The, you the, don't, he can't what, say it. Why? The, the president... Why? He's been whipped into the, it. The, 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 president, the president had the leadership. The president did not dismiss the opinion of all those members who had expressed those other uh, uh, David opinion from what the president stands for. The president also came out with something. The mistake the president made was that he didn't listen to the country. That's his mistake. He did I, not listen to the country and is not listening to the country. That is what hurts. Is he? Uh, and is it because he's not the, coming back? He, this is his last term? Uh, Would he have done this 2016, 2017? No way. I want to believe no that way. when you say the president did not listen, mm. I mean that maybe you are referring to this particular matter. The president has always been a listening president. He, he, wa he has been. He has been. He sacks Charles E. Dubois, Minister of State Finance, former Deputy Finance Minister. Mm. But uh, for all the faults that he's been... He sacks a Jaku just like that. Yes. So you, that's just what I'm like saying. That. The president mm. has always been think, a listening president. Even from the face, you are if, if you say, no, no I'm not surprised. I, I, uh, it's, it's an open knowledge that he has sacked Edu Bahin. Uh, Ejaku went through a certain process. Uh, what there process? Several, several other. Did we hear anything? The, Were they chasing Ejaku? The, Was the, the parliament chasing Ejaku? Were the is, people chasing Ejaku? Were the ministers chasing Ejaku? No, so chasing Ejaku. The president but is he went listening. just like that. He's listening to he didn't even listen to Ejaku. this one. Mm. He also profit what he wants to do, mm. what he has tabled before. We can't just disagree with him mm. Why? on a point. Why can't that he? He says that he wants him to finish do with the negotiation. Do you think that the president is listening to the cry of the people and then the party? Definitely because the president is about to take certain decisions and he wants to get enough information and be able to take those particular decisions. And if he wants the finance minister to go, this is the road that the finance minister is going. The president says we should go to IMF. This is what we are doing. The presidency wants to present budget to the people of Ghana. This is what we are doing. Mohammed, and if he does Mohammed, that, the man we have what we call the appropriation. The, IMF. the man himself, who the president has put forward to negotiate, did you does watch, not believe in did the you IMF. Did the finance minister's posture at, when he appeared? Was it two or three days ago? No, I, I, yeah, I did not watch, watch his posture. Yeah. But the point is that if the president has given a certain roadmap mm. to which so you let's agree. Stick to the roadmap. The, so if you stick to the roadmap, right. and the president did not, there is no way did not go by it. Okay, well, then yeah. there is no way, no matter how superhuman you are, there is no way that you be such beleaguered. You know the word beleaguered. When you say somebody is beleaguered, Adam. terrible situation. Terrible, you are. Clouded yes. by a terrible Clouded situation. So many things. A beleaguered finance minister. There's no way that you have presence of mind to think properly. There is no way. So you are saying that the finance minister. The situation he finds is, himself now. He's in a confused state. The situation he finds himself now. There's no way his continuous stay in office can even lead to his successful completion of the IMF and reading of the budget. Because the presence of mind is not there. There's no way the financial can say that he's not bothered about what is happening. There's no way. Then he's not a human being.
You see? Mr. Amara, it's, so, it's a teamwork. It's not alone. Aha. Uh -huh. More so, that's why he can go and the team will continue. You've answered my question. <laughs> More so, you've brought yourself. More so, because the teamwork. And I've even told that those who did the finals said that he's not the one who's even crunching the numbers. Like using the, uh, uh, comp uh, the what? What's the name? Calculator. He's not the one doing it. He's just superintendent. You know? So look oh. at what he was doing at their place. Look at his face there. Oh, uh, what? I don't understand. Look at how he was. Did you see the camera zoomed on him? The way he. Which camera? What camera? Stop, do that. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't, don't you see the way the finance minister looked? The man had grown pale. This is going to affect his health. Um, look, his wife should advise him. It's a very serious yeah, matter. Yeah. Yeah, where we have yeah. gotten to. Yes, yeah, very serious. The matter. wife should yeah. advise. If he has grown up, uh, grown up children, so they should advise him. Yeah. The way he was, it is not proper to subject your finance minister he doesn't deserve to that. that. He doesn't deserve he it. He doesn't deserve it. That's the appropriate word. No, he doesn't deserve it. But I think that today, reason will prevail. Because the way things are going, we are going to get to a situation where the finance minister will become a, a non-entity within his own team. The team that he's working with. And I'm told that they have indicated, the people in the financial sector have indicated that the day that Ken leaves, that same day, They'll bring the, confidence, the confidence will be back. Yeah. I'm told. All right. So uh, we have, um, please, Roland. Subsidy has been in existence since 2008. And only did not take place in 2014 but continued in 2015 until date let the mpp man know that he's not being factual and the current subsidy is 15 percent for farmers under the planting for food and jobs that's raymond tepa uh we have this one from tina amasaman good morning roland this president has failed woefully because he chose to practice nepotism and clan government and that's uh well, we, we have also this one um, from Alvin. If the BOG is holding Forex against importing or, or okay, importers um, from getting Forex from some of these items, what will be the implications on the black market? Won't it rather drive importers to yeah. the black market? And would it rather contribute to the depreciation of the CD? Because high demand always brings about increase in the price of the dollar. Mm. This one from Dr. Francis Akum in Boko. Roland, this MPP government is not serious. What quantum of local rise do we have currently to meet the local demand? Farmers must be supported to increase their production and we gradually also redraw the import of these and not do it just abruptly. We have this one from um, Nellikem and Kelly's dad, and that's uh, Chris from Ashalibotwe. Nobody in Ghana today trusts Ken Oforiata. He callously collapsed Ghanaian banks with passion, and he must be blamed for the economic woes. That's why we have to take a break. Um, I've had with me Ibrahim Amaliba, legal practitioner and uh, director of the NDC's legal team. Thank you for joining me, Ibrahim. And, and the chairman of their vetting committees. <laughs> ah, you are the one who headed the vetting committee. I am not a man of position, so I don't take Oh, positions. nice. Uh, so but I did a yeoman's job for oh, two right. days. Okay, yes. uh, so oh, I should have asked you this question. What is it? Uh, the, those vying for the chairmanship, that's... Uh, Four of John them. C yeah, yeah. No, but the lead. Current, who's, who's the lead? that's Ofosu um, Ampofu and then... You know, they've been fighting. John Fight, C fighting. Oh, is that no fighting? No, they have campaigning. Ah, uh, campaigning, okay. But, and, but they are throwing... Uh, Kwame, Kwame Jantua. <laughs> Is a legal practitioner, director of political affairs, CPP, is also an energy consultant. And then I've had my good friend Mohammed, Deputy General Secretary for the governing New Patriotic Party. And um, it, it's not easy communicating for these government days, these yeah, days. It's not easy. Yeah. Easy. Or what do you say? Oh, it's oh but uh, you know, in every, even drinking water, it's, it's not easy drinking. Thing. It's <laughs> difficult. So, okay. uh, in everything that you do, there's difficulty. So, <laughs> it's when you ask him about the vetting. Yeah. It was difficult for him to yeah. answer. So, Haruna Mohammed, Haruna Mohammed, who just admits that 
Even drinking water these days is different. No, not these days. I'm saying even drinking water. He's a deputy general secretary. No, no, let's correct it. Let's correct it. No, I'm not saying drinking water these days. I'm saying that even when you are drinking water, there's a difference between drinking water and drinking water. Let's correct it. 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 Let's correct